Hey guys, Megan and Steve here with Hustling for Excellence. Uh, if you're new to our channel, please remember to like and subscribe and click the bell so you're notified every time we list new content. So today, uh, we're going to talk about another investment. Recently, we had a crypto uh, video where Steve talked about how he chooses uh, which cryptocurrencies he buys. We'll actually link to that here so you can check that out if you missed it. Uh, but today's a little bit different. Um, and we're actually going to be talking about investing in artwork, which is not something people normally do because artwork is so expensive and usually it's the ultra wealthy who are buying artwork. But uh, there is a new way to buy artwork where the normal person can get in and buy some shares of a piece of beautiful artwork. Yeah, absolutely. So I think you said it. Um, typically, uh, your average investor doesn't really think about artwork as an investment just um, because it truly is for the ultra wealthy. You know, it's it's the not even the one percent the less than the one percent of folks around the world that control the market um but if you look at it over the past probably 20 years or so i mean every year it beats the s p uh, consistently it's just that you don't really hear about it because it's all private trades typically um and it's it's gosh a very old market you know i think what is it sotheby's is one of the oldest on the exchange and it's like first. two yeah i believe so it's 270 plus years old um so i mean an artwork's been around forever right and it's really it's pretty simple about the supply and demand of it right i mean when you have your van goghs and your dollies and all those folks and you know they're not they're not alive anymore mm -hmm. so when they pass i mean that the art that was made is that's it and what's, you know, what's around the world, and, and that's all there is. I mean, it's, some is owned by museums, but that's a very small portion. Well, and what's, what mostly is in the museums is actually on loan from private investors. Right, it's, it's typically a private collection, so that, that's who kind of owns most of it. Um, but now there, there's a way uh, for anyone to really, I won't say anyone, there's still, a, there's still kind of a requirement to have a little bit of knowledge and have a little bit of capital to invest. Um, but the idea is this company will go out and buy a painting. They have their own experts and you know, who track the market. They have a tremendous database of um, what sold and what the price was. And they'll go out and, and basically you know, either buy at auction um, or buy from a collector, pr you know, private investor. And when they do, they basically file that painting with the SEC. And it basically goes public, kind of like an IPO. And as an investor, you're able to buy shares in that IPO, just like you would with a stock. Um, so s same principle. Um, so instead of buying the company or buying a share of a company, you're buying a share of a piece of art. Of that piece of art. And just think of each piece of art as a company, as its own company, because they file mm -hmm. each piece of art that they buy with the, um, with the SEC. So you can go, go on to you know, edgar.gov and... and look up the filings and see everything uh, about the investment. Um, so again, the company is called Masterworks. Um, the website is masterworks.io. Um, we'll you know, uh, link to that in our description below. Shoot you a link, full out. disclosure, we have invested. So, um, you know, just to kind of let you know, it's, it's something that it's really uncorrelated asset. You know, I mean, right now, if you look around, there's a lot of things that just seem to be going crazy, whether it's it's crypto, real estate, stock market, a little bit of everything. I mean, it seems like everything's is, is up, um, you know, but I kind of been interested in the artwork for a while, but I just kind of, you know, I always worried about investing in artwork because it's just one of those things that seems so foreign to me and to, I guess, to really a lot of people. Um, it's but, not one of those. Right. So, you know, we've been a lot to, of us know about. You go to museums and you, you enjoy the artwork mm -hmm. and you go to some different places you're like, wow, that's beautiful. Um, so this is a great way to kind of also think about preserving it, right? So these folks, they, they buy it and you now own a little piece of it. So you're kind of doing your piece to preserve it. Because again, most of these artists, uh, you know, depending on what they're invested in, Masterworks, uh, if you go through and look at their offerings, a lot of folks are, you know, maybe artists who are still currently alive, but maybe towards the end of their life or the end of their career. And, you know, they're looking to position themselves for, you know, when that artwork that person, that artist is no longer making that artwork. So, you know, supply and demand kicks in. So again, it's, it's one of those, um, really interesting, you know, to me, uh, just again, another way to kind of diversify. And again, you, you could talk to them. Um, when you get on, the, I, I actually got on the phone with them, asked a bunch of questions, do a little, little Q and a, and, um, 
you know, you, you learn a little bit about it, obviously. Always do your own due diligence, get out there, do some research, because, uh, you know, again, artwork is typically not something you see. Again, it's, you know, really ultra wealthy. So, um, you know, definitely do your homework. And you can you can start with a small investment, which is nice. You don't have to, you know, buy the appraised value, you know, a painting in here by um, Gerhard Richter has an appraised value of ten and a half million. Well, you don't have to go ahead and, and <laughs> fit, foot that whole bill. You can, you know, get in at a much, much piece. lower <laughs> fraction of that. So, um, but again, I, I just wanted to kind of bring this to everyone's attention because, um, you know, I really enjoy the investment side of things. You know, I know we talk about uh, the gamut of stuff, you know, the the physical, the personal, professional, um, the whole three P's of excellence. So we talk a little bit about everything. Uh, we do a lot of mindset work and, and different things in that nature. But I wanted to kind of also, you know, drip out all these investment ideas and different things that we've invested in just so kind of gives folks a, an idea of what else is out there, right? Um, so I know everybody, we had a lot of good comments and, and feedback from the crypto um, video. So I figured this would probably pique somebody's interest, right? Because, you know, everybody's out there talking real estate and talking crypto right now. Um, again, you know, you didn't see them a couple years ago during crypto winter, so got it. So I kind of, you know, take that as a grain of salt when all these people are out there saying whatever they're saying. But I just kind of want to introduce everybody to the idea of um, artwork as an investment. So again, we'll li like Meg said, we'll link to it in the uh, description below. And, and then, you know, one thing I think Steve didn't mention was this is kind of like any other stock you buy a piece but you can also then trade it oh, uh, yeah very, very good yeah i did kind of skip over that right that's that's a real nice thing too they you can go out to the other buyers and put yeah. it out there say hey i've got these um shares of this piece of artwork to sell and um right buyers can come to you and then purchase it directly from you well well not not, not exactly not directly, so the, but kind of you kind of got the gist of it so um masterworks also created their own um kind of secondary market in the sense of if I buy shares of a painting and, you know, maybe I have uh, 100 shares and, mm -hmm. you know, I feel it's, it's the time I want to get rid of them, I can go ahead and, and put them out on the, the trading platform and, you know, see if someone's interested and we can kind of match up. And, you know, just like when you're out there uh, sell, selling or, you know, buying and trading stocks, mm -hmm. you know, is there a buyer for the seller, seller for the buyer, that type of thing. So they have that market and created that market as well. So I, I kind of like that. So, um, but again, you know, everybody looks at this differently. So for me, you know, it's really more of a, I say should, for us, you know, it's more of a mid-range, mid diversify, yeah. but also kind of a, a mid-range investment. You know, we're looking at that, you know, five to 10 year time frame. Mm -hmm. you know, so, um, but again, if for some reason, they also have some criteria in place that they will sell early if they have received an offer from an investor and it, it meets their criteria of a certain percentage gain um, for the year. So, um, but again, I feel like they have experts out there that are, you know, that's all they do is artwork. Um, so it's, it's, it's something I kind of, you know, just wanted to, again, introduce to the community and, you know, let me know what you guys think, check it out and, and see if anyone else is investing in it. So we will leave a link below, uh, to Masterworks and leave us a comment. Let us know, have you invested in artwork before? What do you think about investing in artwork? And we will see you on the next video.